tired of static images? Animate them with AI. Image to video magic. Transforming 2D photos into stunning 3D animated videos. Bring your memories to life. From old family pics to creative art. No experience needed. Just upload, describe, and let AI do the rest. Share your unique videos on social media. It's free and easy. Try it today. Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Let's start by visiting the Hilo AI website. The homepage of this AI tool is currently displayed in Chinese, but don't worry. We can translate it into our preferred language. I'm using the Edge browser, so I'll click on the translate icon at the top of the page. This option is also available in other browsers. In the translate to dropdown list, I select the desired language. After that, I click on translate. As you can see, the website interface changes to the language I chose, which in this case is English. Next, I click on the create a video button, entering the video generation section. By clicking on the login option in the top right corner, a registration and login window opens. I choose continue with Google to log in with a Gmail account. The profile access icon is located in the top right corner of the website. By clicking on the three day free trial option, we get access to the various plans offered by this AI. Let's review them. As a welcome gift for new users, Hilo AI offers three days of unlimited access during which you can create as many videos as you want without any credit restrictions. After three days, you'll transition to the free plan, where the number of videos you can generate depends on your remaining credits. Let's talk about an important point that has caused issues in previous tutorials. As of the release date of this tutorial, the free plan offers daily credits for video generation in Hilo AI with each login. In the future, these plans may change, and the free plan may even be removed. I am not responsible for these potential changes. In the free plan, generated videos have a watermark, but this watermark is removed in paid plans. On this tutorial's release date, it is well documented that I am using the free plan. I'm merely a content creator and not responsible for changes in these plans. Therefore, if there are future changes, disliking this tutorial would be unfair and unreasonable. If you've previously disliked my tutorials due to credit limitations and free plans of various AIs, please reconsider. Now, I click on the Explore option. At the top of the page, there's a prompt box, and just below it is a gallery of creations made with Hilo AI. Above the gallery, there's a tab called Mine, which, when clicked, displays videos I've generated with Hilo AI. In the new Hilo AI update, a new icon has been added to the prompt box in the lower left corner for the image to video process. This new feature supports JPG and PNG images up to 20 megabytes with a minimum short side of 300 px and an aspect ratio between 2 to 5 and 5 to 2. I click on it, choose an image from my hard drive that I want to animate and turn into a video, and upload it. Depending on the file size, the upload takes a short time, and a thumbnail of the image appears. After uploading, I describe all my animation expectations in the prompt box so the AI understands what to animate. This process may change in the future, but for now, this is how it works. I've entered a prompt specifying the elements I want to animate. I click on Generate to Animate and convert the image into a video. My request goes into the queue, and shortly after, my image is animated, converted into a video, and the thumbnail appears. I click on the thumbnail to view the video in full size. I wasn't fully satisfied with the first test animation in Hilo AI, but I'm not discouraged. Here, I'll show you other results from later tests. As I've said many times, this process requires repetition and tweaking of the prompt to achieve the ideal results. Now, let's approach this from another angle. 
Perhaps you don't have an image yet, so I'll show you how to create a prompt and then an image with various AIs, which you can later animate with Hilo AI. There are several AIs available for generating images from text prompts. A prompt is essentially your idea, which you can describe using AI tools like ChatGPT or Google Gemini. For example, I can ask ChatGPT to describe a dream image of a Lamborghini for an art generator. ChatGPT's response now serves as the prompt, which I then copy. Your prompt is a unique expression of your ideas, which you should type as text. The AI analyzes your text and creates an image based on it. The more detailed and precise your prompt is, the better the AI will understand your needs, and the resulting image will closely match your vision. Leonardo is one of the top art generators. I covered Leonardo AI in detail in previous tutorials, so check those out on my channel. After creating an account and logging in, I click on image creation. Leonardo gives you 150 free tokens to generate images when you sign up. These credits refresh daily. I right-click in the text box and paste ChatGPT's prompt. In the preset drop-down list, I select Phoenix, one of the latest image generation models. In the preset style drop-down, I choose 3D render because I want the image in 3D style. Under image dimensions, aspect ratio is set to 16 to 9, and number of images to 4. I click on Generate, and my request is queued. After a short wait, my text prompt turns into an image, and the thumbnail appears. I click on the thumbnail to view and review these images in full size. I'm very satisfied with these images. The download button is below each frame. Note that they're in 3D style, and as of the tutorial release date, Leonardo's images and free accounts don't have watermarks. I'll introduce another AI image generator. Let's test the same prompt in another AI. Here we enter Piclumen. As of this tutorial's release date, Piclumen is entirely free and unlimited. After creating an account and logging in, we're on the Piclumen dashboard. Piclumen uses several models for image generation. In the top prompt box, I set the first drop-down list to Piclumen Realistic V2 as the generation model. In the next drop-down, I set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, and for the number of images per generation, I set it to 4. I right-click in the text box and paste ChatGPT's prompt. I click on Generate, and my request goes into the queue. Shortly after, my text is converted into images, and the thumbnail appears. I click on the thumbnail to view and review the images in full size. Note that these images are in realistic style, and as of this tutorial's release date, Piclumen's images and free accounts have no watermark. I download one of the images. Now that you're familiar with the image creation process in both Leonardo and Piclumen, let's move on to animating images. We're back in Hilo AI. I clear the previous prompt, click on the image upload icon in the lower left corner of the prompt box, and select the Lamborghini image to upload. I describe all the expectations I have for animating this image in the prompt box so that Hilo AI can fully understand what to animate. I've entered a prompt specifying the elements I want to animate. I click on Generate to animate and turn this image into a video. My request goes into the queue, and shortly after, my image is animated, converted into a video, and the thumbnail appears. I click on the thumbnail to view and review the video in full size. As with the previous attempt, the animation in this first test isn't entirely satisfying, but I'm not discouraged. Here are other results from later tests. As I keep emphasizing, you should repeat this process and make adjustments in the prompt text. With repeated efforts, you'll achieve impressive results, as I've shown here. Did you find this tutorial helpful? If so, don't forget to hit that like button, it really supports the channel. And if you know someone else who'd enjoy learning about AI, share this video with them. This is just one of many tutorials here, so if you're excited about AI, you're in the perfect place. Subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on the latest videos. Let's keep exploring the future of AI together. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.